clean as a motherfucker. Dirty work will stop me from finishing the scheme like a Ponzi. I'll be sliding through the city with Maserati and then packing. Hello, 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 world. It is I, your turbo loving guy, Mr. Buddhist. On today's episode, the Genesis gets a little aggressive. Um, and by aggressive, I mean aggressive fitment wheels. The wheels that I had before, they were nice looking, but they weren't great, you know? Um, they fit in the car, but they were just too tucked into the fender. I didn't want to have to worry about getting some spacers, so I never got around to it. But luckily, my friend had some spare wheels that he had for sale. And uh, he sold them to me for dirt cheap. The reason being, one of them had a pretty wicked crack from the inner. We are back. So, these are the wheels that have the slight crack in them. Oh, a little bit more slight, but yeah, crack in them. So they leak air about, he claimed about four days. I mean, I got them for dirt cheap, buck fifty, so I can't complain. So I'm gonna give it the old college try with the old. Come on, focus. There we go. Lincoln Precision TIG 225. I'm gonna try to give it the old college try. I'm gonna sand it down and uh, get all the paint off and then, you know, try to go over it. It has a little bit over here as well where you can see it, but it kind of fades away as you go under, so that's a good thing. But I'm gonna still give it a nice little reinforce here just in case and follow it up. Uh, I will put more results once I get started. Alright, so, elbow grease is kind of doing it. I'll show you. I got most of this done, but then I got to this corner and the paint there is a little bit thicker than what it was here and here. Uh, so, I got the old whirly boy out and uh, let's see how this goes. Cleaner. I'm not sure if I'm getting this right. I'll just get the camera. Uh. Oh, oh, where is it? Come on, focus. Focus. Alright. So you got a much cleaner scratch off now. Oh, where are we? Okay. Just the other side. So, now that we got most of the contaminants out of the way, I'm going to give it a little soap and water wash, and then, uh, well, where am I? Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm going to give it a little soap and water wash, and uh, we'll give it a old try with a welder. And we'll sand that down as smooth as possible, and then at some point, get them installed, and hope for the best they don't leak. All right. <laughs> Skipping all the other grinding processes. 
I use a grinding disc and then a grinding pad to help me achieve the look. I filled it in, so you can tell there's no more crap up here. You can't see the line anymore. It's all nice and solid. Just a little bit. Hopefully I would have cleaned that off properly, but come on, focus. Focus! It's nice and filled in. It's good to go. There's a little concave in there, but it's just from me grinding it down. Other than that, everything's done. And, uh, once I get the tires on and everything's all set up, we'll see how she holds up. Alright, guys. So, moment of truth. Uh, we all got done, tires have been installed. It's actually been about three or four days I've had the tires on already. The very first day, it wasn't actually the weld I had any issue with, um, but the tire was going flat. Came to find out that the valve stems that were on the, on the wheels themselves were getting bad. So, we got them replaced the next day. And which was a kind of a good thing because the tires that I was planning to use from my front with the BBS reps, I was planning to swap those tires into the front for these. But when we, when the guy at the wheel shop removed the passenger front, um, somehow it had a like a gash in the wheel. Um, I think I have the picture, so I'll post it up soon in between this video. Um, and. Uh, so I had ended up having to get two new brand brand new tires in the front, which sucked. I wasn't trying to spend that much, but you know what? End of the day, now I have four brand new tires, and it should be good to go. Um, the tires are currently on the car, the wheels and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the more aggressive fitment. Uh, also, the weld is also hold up. I haven't had any issues. Like I said, it's been three or four days, and it's been holding it down. So let's go take a look. Here she is, guys. JNC's 18 by 9 squared. Oh, look how nice and close that is. Perfect. Right to the fender. Just right where it tucks into the fender, just right without having to pull it, anything. Um, I'm not too sure about the offset. Uh, my friend said he thinks they're 35, but we don't know. The back of the wheel is the same for some reason. Uh, but yeah, into the JNC's. Nice and clean, a whole lot better than the other ones was. A little scuff here, but that ain't nothing I can sand away and repaint. Uh, check out the backs, check out the backs. Oh, uh, before they used to, my other wheels used to stick in a whole lot more. Um, but overall, it looks a whole lot better than before. Same width in the back, but I guess the offset helps poke it out a little bit more from here. But yeah. So she's looking a little bit better. The wheels a little bit more poked out, more flush with the fenders. Makes it look a little bit more, you know, a little more tracky, a little bit more aggressive than before. They were kind of just tucked in there all the way. But yeah, guys, that is it. The Genesis Cool got a little bit aggressive. Looks a whole lot better. The wheels in general are better. And yeah, so sort of more to come. See you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe and post notification and all that good stuff. If not, like I said, it is what it is. And yeah, have a great day and be blessed. Love, peace, chicken grease. See, I'll be sliding through the city with my surrounding again. Then packing the paper rise to the size of a stabilizer with friends. Taking a couple of shots of hand. Pass out. Repeat. Do it all again. I